Good day, little friends and storytime parents. Welcome to another storytime session with your friendly library tech, Miss Tiffany, at your MWR Community Library. Today, I've picked some of my favorite books to read to you, so let's begin. But before we begin, don't forget, we are celebrating and we are in the midst of our annual summer reading program. Our theme for this year is Dig Deeper. So basically, the more you read, the more rewards you will be rewarded at the end of the summer or whenever you come in. So you just need to keep track of all the minutes that you've read. And you can sign up at our website at guantanamobaymwr.beanstack.org forward slash reader365. Or if you'd like to use the app, you can go ahead in your iOS store, Google Play store, and on Windows and look for the Beanstack app right here with that logo right there. Download it. And then you can go ahead and sign up that way as well, too. When I ask you to search for a library, you can either put in Navy and it should pop up or either Guantanamo Bay. So again, you can go to the website, Guantanamo Bay, mwr.beanstack.org forward slash reader365 or head on over to the App Store. Okay, so let's begin. So, since we, our theme for this summer is Dig Deeper, let's read a couple of books about dinosaurs, some of my favorite animals. Here we go, and this is called Dinosaur Dinners by Lee Davis. So what do dinosaurs eat? Different dinosaurs ate different kinds of food. We have meat eaters, Dinosaurs that ate only meat are called carnivores. So for instance, this is a Tyrannosaurus. I eat meat. We have plant eaters. Dinosaurs that ate only plants are called herbivores. I eat plants. And this is a, this is a Styracosaurus. Meat and plant eaters. Dinosaurs that ate both meat and plants are called omnivores. I eat both meat and plants. And this is a Gallimimus. I am a dinosaur looking for my breakfast. I can see you wherever you are. This is a Trodon. I am a dinosaur ready for my lunch. I can catch you even if you run. This is a Hererosaurus. I am a dinosaur hungry for my dinner. I am bigger than you are. This big one is a Tyrannosaurus. We all have sharp teeth and claws. We are meat eaters. We eat other dinosaurs. Meat eaters ate fish, insects, small mammals, reptiles, and other dinosaurs. So we have a Tyrannosaurus. He was 37 feet long. It's huge. He had sharp teeth to tear meat and crush bones. And his food, he ate other large dinosaurs. We have the Trodon. He was six feet long. He has large eyes for spotting prey, and his food was small animals. We have a Spinosaurus, 52 feet long. He had a powerful jaw, and he ate fish and other dinosaurs. Okay, so let's move on to the plant eaters. Most dinosaurs were plant eaters. They had to watch out for meat eaters who wanted to eat them. We have the Edmontonia. This dinosaur's low set head made it easier to eat grass. We have the Barosaurus. Oh, can you guys see this book? There's a little bit of glare. We have the Barosaurus. This slow moving dinosaur fed on all kinds of plants. We have the Platyosaurus. This dinosaur stood on strong hind legs to eat leaves. And we have the Brachiosaurus. This gentle giant uses neck, long neck, to reach high trees. I am a dinosaur who only eat plants. I stay close to my babies to protect them from meat eaters. I made their nest from a mound of earth. I bring leaves and berries for them to eat. And this is a Myasaura right here. And this is her babies. We are small but fast. We eat plants that grow close to the ground. 
We live in a herd. If one of us spots a meat eater, we all zoom off on our strong back legs. And this is a Hypsilophodon. These are Hypsilophodons. I look frightening because I'm so big. I need to eat huge amounts of leaves to keep myself going. I use my long neck to reach the leaves at the top of trees. This is a Barosaurus. I can see danger coming from any direction. I am much taller than any of the meat eaters. Do you see how long his neck is? Ooh. Dinosaurs that don't eat meat need protection from those that do. Our spikes are long and sharp. If meat eaters come too close, we take them on head first. And this is a Styracosaurus right here. Dinosaur battle. Plant eaters had to defend themselves from meat eaters. Who will win? So we have right here, this is the Lesotosaurus. He's a plant eater. He has big eyes for an all around view. He's lightweight and speedy. Over here, we have a Coelophysis. He's a meat eater. He has a long neck, sharp claws, and more than 100 sharp curved teeth. Who will win? Sharp teeth cannot dent my body armor. And watch out for the spikes on my shoulders. One bump for me, and it's the end. This is the Edmontonia. My skin is as hard as a rock. My body is covered in studs, spikes, and horns. I swing the club on the end of my tail. It can break the legs of the bigger dinosaurs. I'm not very big, but I'm very dangerous. And this is a Uoplocleifeus. We don't need special weapons. If we smell danger, we raise the alarm. We use our head crests like trumpets to make loud hooting calls. And this is a Corythiosaurus right here. And this is the Parasol Rolophus. We are all dinosaurs that eat plants. We all have some way of protecting ourselves from meat eaters. And these are all the dinosaurs that we've just seen. Eat or be eaten? That is a dinosaur question. I can run fast enough to get away from the big meat eaters. I can also run fast enough to catch small animals. I like to eat lizards and other animals. I can catch them with my strong claws and my long beak. But I eat plants too. I am not a picky eater. And that's a Gallimimus. Okay. And so if you come to the library and check this book out, you can open up to this page and they have a very cool dinosaur game that you can play. All right, let's continue. We are all dinosaurs. The and what a great book. So let's read my next book and this is called what kind of a car does t-rex drive and this is by mark lee and brian biggs uncle otto was having a summer sale but so far no one had come to buy his cars where are all the customers ava asked maybe they're all on vacation mickey said well i'm not on vacation otto said I will sell a car to anyone or anything that shows up. And that's when a Stegosaurus lumbered onto the lot. I'm looking for a car, he said. What do you recommend? Uncle Otto had never sold a car to a dinosaur. He didn't know what to say. Don't worry, Uncle Otto, Ava said. He's a plant eater. Okay, Otto replied. But what kind of car does he want? What about an off-road vehicle? Mickey asked the dinosaur. He can drive deep into the forest to find mosses and ferns to snack on. Perfect, 
the Stegosaurus said. He jumped into the car, honked the horn, and drove away. Uncle Otto, look. <gasps> but just then, a pterodactyl glided down from the sky. Not now, Mickey, Otto said. I want to sell a car to a... A pterodactyl, Ava whispered. It's too hot to fly, the pterodactyl said. Maybe I need to buy a car. You like the wind and you're a fish eater, Mickey said. How about a convertible? You can drive to the beach and glide from the cliffs to the ocean. Good idea, the pterodactyl said. He hopped into his new car and headed for the shore. Uncle Otto, you better take a look at this. Just then, a triceratops ambled into view. Not now, Mickey, Uncle Otto said. I'm busy selling a car to a... A triceratops, Ava said. Great horns, Otto told the dinosaur. I bet you win a lot of arguments. I'm a gentle giant, the triceratops said. Do you have a vehicle that might suit me? What about a delivery van, Mickey suggested. The back is empty, and you can get in through the rear doors. You're a dear, the Triceratops said. She climbed into the van and waved as she drove away. Um, Uncle Otto, what's the problem, Mickey? Suddenly, there was a loud thump, 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 and the Tyrannosaurus Rex appeared. The Stegosaurus and the Pterodactyl and the Triceratops bought cars, the T-Rex said. I want to buy a car, too. Certainly. How about this nice micro car, Uncle Otto suggested. You can park it anywhere. Do you guys think he can fit into this tiny car right here? Hmm. We'll see. I can never fit inside that. The T-Rex bellowed. Then he squashed the microcar with his powerful legs. I hear you loud and clear, Mr. Rex. What about this family van, minivan? The T-Rex bared his razor sharp teeth. Can you really see me driving a minivan? A taxi cab? I'm not taking anyone for a ride. A sport utility vehicle? I don't like sports. Uncle Otto was starting to sweat. Help! He squeaked at Mickey and Ava. The children whispered back and forth. Pss, 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 pss. Finally, they turned to the T-Rex. Follow us. We know the perfect car for you. A monster truck. The T-Rex loved the humongous wheels. He let out a roar of delight and hit the road. I'm changing the name of the business, Uncle Otto said. Dinosaurs are great customers. Maybe you should hire us to help out, Ava said. That won't be necessary. I'm a dinosaur expert. That's when a really big customer stepped onto the lot. Look. I wonder is that the Brachiosaurus that we just learned about. Whoa. The end. All right, let's read one more book. And this is just a special day. And this is a little critter book. Mom and little sister have to go to town. Dad and I stay home. We will have a special day, just Dad and me. Mom give us a list of chores. We will clean the kitchen just for Mom, but that isn't much fun. We ride bicycles to the park instead. Dad throws the football. I run to catch it. I say, I'm sorry. Oops, look at what he did. I'm hungry, I say. We get hot dogs. Mine has too much mustard. My clothes are messy. Dad takes me to the water fountain to clean me up. 
I have a leftover hot dog bun. I will feed the fish. I throw it in the pond. Oops. Now all the fish are coming to me. The fishermen are not happy. Dad says, I have an idea. Let's go to the ballpark and watch a game. The batter hit a foul ball. Up and up it went. Then down and down it came. I will catch it for you, Dad says. Dad misses the catch, and now he needs a doctor. Poor Dad. The doctor takes a look at Dad. He fixes Dad up. We leave. We go home. I think Dad got too excited. Dad, I say, today was fun. You just rest, and I will finish our chores for Mom. Dad falls asleep. I fill the dishwasher. I fill the washing machine. It needs lots of soap. I fold the laundry. Dad, wake up and see what I did to help, I say. I ask, are you happy that I helped, Dad? Dad gives me a hug. I give my dad a hug. Hooray, I say. Mom and little sister are home. Mom asks, what kind of day did you boys have? I say, it was just a special day. Right, Dad? The end. Thank you for sharing this special time with me. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.